was hoping uh, you could just tell us what, what exactly went on here today. So we at Genzyme today celebrated a grand opening of our new science center here in Framingham, Massachusetts. This is a $125 million building that is environmentally responsible. We announced today we actually received the gold U.S. Green Building Council lead rating for this building. And it's uh, an important part of our growth in Massachusetts. We have 2,000 employees here in Framingham and about 4,000 employees across the state. Um, here in this building, we're going to be doing early stage scientific research, bringing together scientists from a range of areas, including rare genetic diseases, cancer, uh, renal disease, neurological disorders. So this is going to be really a central place where early stage work is done. And we're very excited about it. We're also doing other projects now in Massachusetts with an expansion of our Alston manufacturing facility, as well as a new manufacturing facility right down the street here in Framingham. Um, one of the biggest things about a, a building like this, um, the science building that's different from almost any other kind of building, is the electricity usage that we have. And we try to minimize that. Now a science building uh, typically will only use its air once, and that is because we pump air into the labs, we want to pump it right back out so there's no potential recirculation of any solvents or other things that scientists may be working with. And that makes it tremendously hard to heat or cool a building like this. So one of the things that we did from the start of the project was to make sure that we had the engineering systems to extract every last little bit of energy from that heating and cooling process. And this building actually looks quite a bit taller than it is. It looks almost nine stories tall from the outside because on the top of it there's two very large air handlers that are responsible for this uh, recycling of the energy associated with heating and cooling the building. So maybe you could tell us exactly why you guys are here this morning. Yeah, we're here today because uh, we think it's a travesty that a billion dollar corporation, life science company like Genzyme, whose CEO makes $35 million a year, um, hiring contractors to build their facilities in their headquarters that don't pay, uh, don't pay health care, don't pay uh, community standards as far as wages go. We've got a lot of hard working men and women here that live in Framingham, and live in the community surrounding Framingham, that would love to have these jobs. They're all highly skilled, they're all state of Massachusetts residents, and uh, we, we feel that we should get these jobs and they shouldn't go to out-of-state contractors and uh, contractors that don't oblige by uh, community standards. Yeah.